Welcome to Wednesday night. Uh, it's been a long day, but um, glad to be with you tonight. And um, when, if you have your Bibles, go over to Galatians chapter five. Galatians chapter five, <clears throat> verses twenty-two and twenty-three. Um, we're going to talk about something that's very simple, but yet so hard to do. <clears throat> and I don't believe a man is born with this. I believe a man is born again with this. And it's called the fruits of the spirit. And when these are these are things that are not that don't come um, natural to flesh, but with the Holy Spirit it comes very easy. Because when God saves us, He breathes the breath of light in us, gives us eternal life, but also changes our 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 spirit and how we in our soul on how we look upon others. You know, before I got saved, I was a very hateful man. I, you know, I tell you what, I didn't care about anybody. But as soon as I got saved, I started having compassion and different uh, my needs were put aside for others needs <clears throat> i'm still not perfect i still try to strive to do when i can for others but god had to change my uh and redirect my mind and my in my heart uh towards things and he gives us this these fruits uh, of the spirit and god is god is a god that uh, <clears throat> that loves you and but also god is a, is a judgmental god but he 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 he, he when he saves us he gives us the characteristics of himself and his son. Uh, and, and one of the things, when we look at the fruits of the Spirit, it's all, character, all characteristics that Jesus Christ um, that, uh, attributed here when he was on earth. But the Bible says this, <clears throat> in verses 22 and 23 in Galatians chapter 5, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, Faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. Those things, the fruits of the Spirit, do not come easy for me. <clears throat> uh, as I said, I mean, you know, when it's, it's a hard thing. And it's not one. You know, when, when, when God gives us uh, the Spirit of God, all, all of this comes with it. Now, you, we don't have the right to choose... That we're just going to love somebody one day, and they'd be gentle another, be good another day, have faith another day. No, no, no. He wants us to do all these things. All the it's it's the it's the abundance of fruit on the tree that he wants us to enjoy. He wants us to to show these things. And we'll be honest with you, you know, it, it, have you ever noticed that somebody's so sour in in the Christianity? They don't present. They don't. They don't produce the fruits of the spirit. <clears throat> if you, if you're sour in your salvation. I, I, you know, if you're miserable, if you're walking around miserable in your salvation, something's wrong with you. God wants us to produce the fruit. Why? It's not the fruit that we, we can necessarily, it's, it's for others to see, it's to, for others to enjoy. I don't want to be around you if you're, if you're mean. I don't want to be around you if you're sour, if you're bitter, if you always got something negative to say. No, God expects us to show the fruit of the Spirit. And we're going to start, and to break these down real quick uh, and talk about it. The first one's love. Love. And this is not, this is unconditional love. This is something that is, you know, that, you know, I'm not saying I love football, okay? I mean, I love the Chicago Bears, but that's a different love than I love my wife. It's a more intimate love. God wants us to have an intimate, loving relationship with Him, and as well as with other people. And love is this. Love is defined as this. True love is this. It's the ability to overlook the sins of others. Boy, that's good. People are going to disappoint you. Amen? Yep, yep, shake your head yes. People are going to disappoint you. But true love is even when they mess up, no matter what they do, you love them. And you're willing to put away the sins of, of others because you love them. Matthew 18, I want to show you something here. Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 and 22. The Bible says, Then Peter came unto him and said to the Lord, Thou shalt oft my brother sin against me, and I forgive him till seven times. And Jesus said this. He said unto him, I say not unto thee until seven, time, uh, seven times, but until seventy times seven. Which means this. You forgive over and over and over and over and over again. I know it's hard. I know it's difficult. <clears throat> but that's true love. It's being able to look over sins of others. Why? Because you know what? God did that for us. He does that for us. We, we, me, we, me and you sin every day. 
and he overlooks the sins of us because he loves us, and, and he saved us for, for that. Number two is joy. Number two is joy. <clears throat> joy is something that we really need to claim, and we have to have a decision that we're going to do that every day. Are you going to enjoy your life today? Are you going to enjoy your life tomorrow? Are you going to walk out of the house, and you know what? You're not going to let anything bother you, and you're going to be joyful. It's hard to do, but I'm going to tell you, you know, me, don't talk to me unless I have coffee first. Then I'll be joyful. <laughs> but that's not the way the fruit of the Spirit works. He wants us to be joyful. Again, I don't want to be a just a mean old dad or a mean old grandpa. Uh, I want to enjoy my salvation. I want to enjoy life. And you know me, I like to kid around and everything else. That's just my way of, of, of trying to stay joyful, even during um, during adverse conditions. <clears throat> it, you know, it's and also it's it's ability it's the ability to worship God. From the heart, even when you don't feel like it. Mm. Some of us have sick days, right? Yeah. Some of us don't feel good some days, yeah. But we ought not let our physical conditions affect our spiritual way of, of enjoying and worshiping God. It's hard to do because we let things bother us and we let things, or somebody may have said something, you know, and, and our emotions get carried away and we lose our joy. Too many Christians are walking around this world right now not enjoying their salvation because they've lost their joy. In Job chapter 1, verse 21, I'm going to read something here to you. The Bible says, And it said, Naked I come into the, my mother's womb, and naked I shall return thither. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That's Job's attitude. No matter what happens in my life, blessed be the name of the Lord. That's how Job worshipped God. He had joy in his heart, even though he went through all those things. The next one's peace. The next one's peace. Peace is the ability to be still and know that I am God, even through tough times. That's in Psalms chapter 46. I'm going to read this to you. Psalms chapter 46, uh, verse 10, I believe it is. Let me just look here. If you have your Bibles, go ahead and turn with me. Psalms 46. Yeah, verse 10. The Bible says, Be still that I know that I am God, and I will be exalted among the heathen, and I will be exalted in the earth. Boy, that is so good, having peace with the Lord uh, and knowing that God is with me even through the tough times. God wants to give you peace today. It's a fruit of the Spirit. It's not, It's unnatural to us. We want to worry about things. We want to have anxiety about things. That's the first thing we want to do. We want to take control. We don't want to let be patient on God, but you know what? God gives us peace to allow us to carry, carry forth those things. Next one's long-suffering. It's the ability to wait upon the Lord. Now, go to Psalms chapter 62. <clears throat> Psalm, Psalms chapter 62. I'm not a patient person. Long-suffering is, is definitely lacking in my uh, personality. But Psalm 62 verse 5, the Bible says, My soul wait thou only upon God, for my expectation is from Him. There's some things that are still in my life that I'm waiting upon God to answer. Uh, I want to see people saved. I want to see people get right with God. I want to see things and things move, things change. And, you know, the hardest thing, I've always heard, I've always heard this, never pray for patience because it'll never come. Well, you know, I believe God has the ability to do so, but I'm going to tell you, you know, I, I, where I get in trouble is where I get before God. And it's hard for me to carry those things, but you know what, it's kind of hard just to just sit back and let, and just because you know what, God's schedule is not on our schedule, but he wants us to wait upon him. The other one's gentleness. You know, I, I'll say this, this is probably one of the things about me that has changed the most as I said, I was hard as a rock. Um, I try, listen, and sometimes, again, I, I fail in this thing, but ever since I started having children, especially little girls, it's really uh, changed my life. Um, I'm gentle with them. You can't be rough and tough with girls. I'm sorry, I just can't do it. But uh, God has given me uh, two girls for a reason. That's to teach me a lesson. And, and, and I try to carry forth that, uh, that fruit of the Spirit the best I can. It's the ability to put others before you in kindness and benevolence. Uh, and that's in Philippians. Let's go over to here. Philippians. Philippians. Uh, it's going to be, I believe, it's chapter 2. Yeah, uh, Philippians chapter 2, verse 4. Look, that every man in his own things, but man also, uh, also the things of others. It's Again, uh, gentleness is, is, again, putting others first uh, and, and having that sweet kindred spirit towards others. Boy, I tell you. We can learn a lot from that. Another one's goodness. It's the ability to live good. Not listen, not hour by hour. Consistently living good. It's more having morality. America's lost morality in, in today's world. 
you know, I'll tell you, it's, it's a shame to see the morality of, of this, of this world, but, uh, it, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> goodness, it's, it's so hard to come by today, isn't it? Uh, it's really hard, but, um, go over to Hebrews chapter 4, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 13, the Bible says, neither is any creature that not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open to the eyes of him with whom we have to do. As I said, you know, there is no evil in God. There's no sin in God. God is good all the time. Amen? And he expects us to, to, to produce that, that fruit, to produce that spirit. Now, i, I got to hurry, but the next one's faith. And that's the ability to believe in God, uh, even when it doesn't make sense. Even when it doesn't make sense. Uh, I use the example on faith is, you know, when, when, when faith is something that, you know, I can stand upon a chair and I can sit there and say, that chair's going to hold me up, that chair's going to hold me up. Well, it, my faith's not really put to the test until I actually stand on that chair. And hopefully, by faith, that chair holds me up. Uh, it's, 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 putting in, it's putting your words into action. And, and again, it's even when, listen, God does and, and works in supernatural ways that I can't understand, but he always does, he always does what he says. And we have to have faith and believe that he, he, he's going to carry us through. Other one's meekness. This ability to tender in spirit, exhibiting no spiritual pride whatsoever, having a gentle spirit, having a, uh, a humbled spirit, uh, and, and uh, exhibiting, again, no pride at all. Uh, the other one's temperance. And again, th those kind of go hand in hand. Uh, but again, it's a calming spirit. <clears throat> and uh, these are the fruits of the spirit. We all must possess not one of them, not two of them, not five of them, but all the fruits of the spirit. If we want a good spiritual life, <clears throat> God command, God gives us the fruits of the spirit when he breathes uh, his spirit into us. It's our job to take those fruits and do something with it for the cause of Christ. That's our lesson for tonight. God bless you. I love you. Take care.